Okay, now I would like to explain about the mutual inductance between long straight wire and rectangular wire and the coaxial cable self inductance derivations. So first one the mutual inductance between long straight wire and rectangular current loop. So consider a rectangular loop with the sides A and B. This is one rectangular loop with the sides A and B as shown in figure. A straight long conductor is kept parallel to the longer side of the loop along Z axis. This is the straight conductor. It lies along the Z axis and it is parallel to the longer side of the rectangular. So consider that the straight wire is circuit 1. Straight wire is circuit 1 and this rectangular loop is circuit 2. The magnetic field intensity at a distance of R from the long conductor due to current I1 in it can be found by using ampere circuiter law. So here the current flow into the state conductor equals to I1. So let a differential rectangle, this is one differential rectangle at a distance of R from the straight conductor and this uh, differential rectangle this length equals to dr height equals to b and this length equals to dr it is at a distance of r from the straight conductor so now by using ampere circuiter law so we can find the magnetic field intensity at this point due to straight conductor so we know that the ampere circuiter law closed line integral h bar dot dl bar equals to i n closed here i n closed equals to straight conductor current value i1 so h pi into 2 pi r equals to i1 and h pi equals to i1 by 2 pi r it can already be derived the magnetic field intensity due to straight conductor h equals to i by 2 pi r same formula here h pi equals to i1 by 2 pi r so the current flow into the conductor equals to i1 so that's why h1 equals to i1 by 2 pi r so let it is equation number 1 so next one the magnetic flux density b bar so b bar h bar relation b bar equals to mu into h bar so it equals to mu into i1 by 2 pi r into a pi bar so now we have to find the mutual inductance so mutual inductance equals to flux linkages by current so flux we have to find by using flux we have to find the flux linkages so finally the mutual inductance equals to flux linkages by current so by using that formula we can derive the mutual inductance expression so this is magnetic flux so now the flux linking in circuit 2 due to current in circuit 1 the flux linkages lambda 1 2 equals to so surface integral b1 bar dot ds2 bar so it equals to here integral limits so integral limits up to this point limits equals to rectangular loop starting point limit equals to d and up to this point limit equals to Okay, ending point limit equals to d plus a okay, starting point limit equals to d and next ending point limit equals to this length equals to d and this length equals to a so total rectangle integration so limits here from d to d plus a mu i1 by 2 pi r ds2 so ds2 rectangle area this a length equals to b this total length equals to b and this differential length equals to dr so here surface area differential surface area equals to b into dr so lambda 1 2 equals to mu i1 b by 2 pi integral d to d plus a 1 by r into dr so integral 1 by r into dr equals to ln r d to d plus a and lambda 1 2 equals to mu into i1 b by 2 pi ln d plus a minus ln d lambda 1 2 equals to mu i1 b by 2 pi ln d plus a by d and lambda 1 to equals to mu i1 b by 2 pi ln 1 plus a by d so units are Weber turns next the mutual inductance equals to m12 it equals to flux linkages by current flux linkages expression divided by current first circuit current i1 here m12 is the mutual inductance between first circuit to second circuit so this is the flux linkages flux linkages in second circuit due to circuit 1 current divided by circuit 1 current so it equals to m12 mu b by 2 pi ln of 1 plus a by d henry's if the loop in parallel with a straight conductor is a square loop with each side of a units then the mutual inductance is given by we replace this b by a and m12 equals to mu a by 2 pi ln 1 plus a by d so here the mutual inductance between straight conductor 
and rectangular loop will be derived expression this is the expression so next one the mutual inductance between straight conductor and square loop okay square loop and each square side equals to a units so in that case the mutual inductance between straight conductor and square current loop m12 equals to mu a by 2 pi ln 1 plus a by d henry's okay next derivation the inductance of a coaxial cable this is coaxial cable inner conductor radius a meters outer conductor radius b meters so consider a coaxial cable with inner conductor radius a meters and outer conductor radius b meters so let the current through the coaxial cable is i amperes for the coaxial cable the field intensity at any point inner and outer conductor is given by so between this region inner conductor to outer conductor outer conductor the magnetic field intensity h equals to i by 2 pi r and the magnetic flux density b equals to mu into h so mu i by 2 pi r so next one the magnetic flux density will be in radial plane extending from r equals to a to r equals to b in this region only here the magnetic flux is present and the magnetic flux density expression mu i by 2 pi r into a pi bar the total magnetic flux equals to pi equals to surface integral b bar dot ds bar so next to ds bar so here ds bar is differential surface area normal to pi axis so we know that the differential surface area normal to pi axis in cylindrical coordinate system ds bar equals to dr into dz a pi bar so pi equals to integral z equals to 0 to d integral r equals to a to b mu i by 2 pi r into a pi bar dot dr dz a pi bar here first integration with respect to z second integration with respect to r so r limits so inner conductor to outer conductor a to b so assume length of the length of the coaxial cable equals to d so z equals to 0 to d so here coaxial cable lies along the z axis so next to pi equals to mu i by 2 pi so integral dz equals to z limit 0 to d integral 1 by r into dr ln of r a to b and pi equals to mu i by 2 pi into d ln b minus ln a pi equals to mu i d by 2 pi ln of b by a the inductance of a coaxial cable l equals to total flux linkages by total current so inductance equals to mu i d by 2 pi ln b by a by i i i cancelled so finally l equals to mu d by 2 pi ln b by a henry's and the inductance per unit length equals to l by d l by d equals to mu by 2 pi ln b by a henry's per meters so this is the the self inductance of a coaxial cable coaxial cable is also called as coaxial transmission line okay here here the differential surface area differential surface area so here current flowing in z direction so flux produced in pi direction so that's why we are consider here differential surface area normal to pi coordinate in cylindrical coordinate system coordinates are r comma pi comma z and differential surface area normal to pi coordinates formula dr into dz into a pi bar so first the magnetic field intensity of a straight conductor next to flux density formula so next to pi formula so next one flux linkages Okay, next one flux linkages here number of turns equals to 1 so that's why the flux linkages equals to flux so psi equals to pi or lambda equals to pi so l equals to flux linkages by current so finally the inductance of a coaxial cable inductance per unit length coaxial cable formula here two derivations are there so first derivation the mutual inductance between straight conductor to rectangular loop so next to second one the mutual inductance between straight conductor to square loop 